we got Greg Ross live outside the Air Canada Centre. It's what they call Jurassic Park. There are thousands of Raptors fans, and you've got some guests who are ready and prepped for this game, Greg. Well, let me tell you this, too, Hannah. We're not only live coast to coast on CBC News Network. We're live to everybody here in Jurassic Park. Who's <laughs> here to watch the Raptors as they prepare to play the Brooklyn Nets. Baseball action, the Toronto Blue Jays are finally moving in the right direction, and that's up in the American League East. The Jays came into action today, riding a season-high four-game winning streak, and they had the brooms out at the Rogers Centre as well. The Jays looking to sweep the West-leading Houston Astros. You know, Greg, I have to say, this has got to be one of the most bizarre things I've ever heard. We're talking about Blue Jays' Kevin Pillar. Uh, what happened here? Yeah, this is very unfortunate. Kevin Pillar will be sidelined for a week after straining his right oblique muscle. The injury happened when Pilar sneezed while getting ready for the game today. It was a freak accident, but not baseball's freakiest. Michael, in honor of Pilar's strange injury today, I give you a few of the most bizarre <laughs> injuries to baseball players. John Smoltz may take the cake. According to baseball legend, Smoltz once showed up to the ballpark with burns on his chest. They apparently happened as Smoltz attempted to iron his shirt while he was still wearing it. He was quoted as saying that he was shocked because he had done the same thing five or six <laughs> times before that and never burned himself. So he couldn't figure out why he had those burns on his chest. Formula One champion Lewis Hamilton was looking to end a two-race drought at this afternoon's Canadian Grand Prix. Canada is one of Hamilton's favorite stops on the circuit. He came in as a three-time champion in Montreal. It's also where he captured his first career F1 victory. And Hamilton started the day on the pole. And despite a pretty good challenge from his Mercedes AMG teammate Nico Rosberg, Hamilton managed to keep the lead from start to finish, taking the checkered flag at the circuit Gilles Villeneuve for the fourth time in his career. Hamilton just barely edging out. Roseburg by 2.2 seconds. It's the fourth win in seven races this season for Hamilton. It's also the fourth time Hamilton and Roseburg finished 1-2 in a race. The victory puts Hamilton 17 points up on Roseburg in the overall F1 standings. As disappointing as this season has been for the Toronto Blue Jays so far, surprisingly, they came into action today just three and a half games out of top spot in the American League East. In other words, the whole division is off to a shaky start. This afternoon, the Jays played the rubber match of a three-game set with the Minnesota Twins. Jays starter Drew Hutchinson had a 4-2 lead in the bottom of the sixth, facing Trevor Plouffe with a runner on first, and Plouffe smokes this pitch deep to left, and that is into the upper deck for a two-run bomb. Plouffe's eighth of the year ties this game up at four. Top of the seventh. Blue Jays home run leader Josh Donaldson at the dish, and he hits this blast Donaldson the other way into right, and that's going to find the seats for a solo Donaldson shot. Give Donaldson his 15th of the year, and it puts the Jays back on top, 5-4. Home half of the inning, two aboard for Torrey Hunter, hits his high fly ball to left. It's over the head of Chris Colabello, and it lands on the warning track. Probably should have had that. Instead, it's a two-run double for Hunter as both runs come around to score, and the Twins take the lead for good. They beat the Jays by a final of six to five. One last question here. Uh, you, you announced a little while ago to this crowd that the Raptors actually texted you from the locker room and asked that you send a live feed of what's happening down here in Jurassic Park because they wanted to see this in order to get pumped up for this game. The key word here is momentum. You can get it from a guy off the bench. You can get it from the people in the stands, but no one else in professional sports gets momentum from outside the building and the fans and the Raptors know it and they need that energy and they're going to use that energy and that's why they made that request. These guys are bad. Well, listen, Suhan, I'll tell you, if you look down that way, down the street, you can see there are fans for as far as the eye can see. They are out here to watch their Raptors and I'm telling you, there is a lot of passion in this crowd here today, Suhan. <laughs>